world have done. He flew the T2, a C Buckeye, the T4 Skyhawk, the way we saw that flown by Paul Wood earlier today. In 1979, he was deviated, uh, designated naval aviator to receive his wings of gold, just over 283 hours. He's done some very interesting work in V-stall aircraft with engine out landings. Now, this airplane, as you'll watch it, has a glide ratio something close to a rock. It doesn't glide like a lot of airplanes would, and it's going to be very loud. So as he's in front of the stage, I'm going to always let you listen. I'm not going to try to talk over that engine. But he's the only person to have made emergency dead stick landing. And uh, over 900 hours in the AV-8A, 400 shipboard landings. A uh, single Marine uh, Corps pilot to attend the United States Air Force Test Pilot School at Edwards Air Force Base. And uh, one Marine per year sent, he went back in 1985. He performed the initial shipboard certification test for the Italian Spanish ski jump ships and performed the first ski jump takeoff in the AV-8B. Here we go. Art Nalls, the Sea Harrier. Let's watch. You can see as he takes off, it's uh, it's not a large aircraft, but of course it wasn't meant to be. Uh, besides gliding like a rock, there's also a possibility when you shut that engine down, uh, it won't restart. And as you watch him fly right here, he's got over six hours, six hours, and that's a, a lot of time, six hours in a single engine airplane with the engine shut down in flight. Uh, I can't quite comprehend that number. Seems like an awful lot to me. Retire, retired Marine Corps pilot, real estate developer in Washington, D.C. area. Uh, he uh, joined the commemorative Air Force, flying force now in his Sea Harrier. From Air Show Wright, Art Nalls. The photo pass. Now you might have noticed as he went by those little wingtip gear, this does not have a traditional uh, tricycle or even a tailwheel gear configuration. It has inline gear and then it has a little tailwheel gear for when it's on the ground depending on the weight and the wing. The other airplane that that reminds me of, of course, is the very large, old and famous B-52 bomber from the United States Air Force that did have center line gear and then uh, wingtip wheels. He was flying by there at about 350 miles an hour. Now, I want you to keep your eyes on air show left, and let's see just what Art can show us as he sets up now and comes in from the left side of the show box. This is a day VFR only airplane. Maximum speed, 650 miles an hour. be setting up the left hand side one of the disadvantages for watching for a small airplane i see him now here it comes eyes on him and air show left dark Nalls, the sea harrier he's taking it that almost looks like an attack run to me that's what i thought Jordan that he could have on there, but uh, I thought that looked like an attack run. It looks like he's going to set it up down low, coming in out of sight of enemy radar, and uh, come in. You notice how he popped up and then dove down. That would be a typical uh, bombing run type approach. See ya. Yeah, just.
just again this aircraft originally built for the British and you can see him if you look very high just about uh, two inches above the horizon he's going from uh, uh, right to left right now and he's going to make another turn in let's see if he's got uh, any more ammo on board Art Nalls the Sea Harrier I got a video I mean I can always get make video pictures out of the video He's low, but he's pulling it up. Looks like another attack round. Let's watch. Get those cameras ready. 